Hey guys, it's Tanya with Scraptastic Creations. So today I'm gonna do a little something different. I'm gonna teach this basic class for beginners. I had a lot of requests to do this. So I wanna to talk to you about what is scrapbooking. Um, what does it mean to scrapbook? What does a scrapbook look like? What are some basic tools? Like how do I get started? It seems so overwhelming. It's not. Um, Everyone's at a different place in their life. Um, everyone's style is different. And there are no mistakes in scrapbooking. There is no wrong way to scrapbook. So we're gonna start this series. Um, this will be series one. So it'll be scrapbooking basics for beginners. And if you are a um, little more advanced, I mean, you're welcome to tune in and maybe you'll learn a little something. Um, so. I wanna to talk to you about um, what is a scrapbook page? Where do I get started? Um, from basics to beyond, pocket pages, sizes, you name it, okay? We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. But I'm gonna keep this first video, we're gonna focus on one thing. So why scrapbook? Well, to tell the story. It takes two generations to be completely forgotten. Sad, I know, but I don't know anything about my great grandparents. I don't know their names. I don't I don't even know their full names. I know my great grandmother's first name. That is what I know. I don't know what they look like. And if somebody gave me an old photo album with uh, pictures of all these people that are in my family, I wouldn't know who they are. I can't tell my children who they are. I can't tell my children anything about them. And I don't want that. I don't want that for my children. I want to tell my story. I want to tell my kids a story. I want to tell my mom and my dad's story. I want my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren to be able to look back and know where they came from. Um, know, know a little bit about our family. So I just think it's really important to preserve those memories, to tell the story. My children are important to me. I want to tell their story. So, do you have to have all these tools in order to scrapbook? No, you don't. You actually, honestly, you don't need any of them, okay? It's convenient. It's not necessary. So we're gonna talk about the, the basics, what you need to get started right now scrapbooking. And, this will be a, a series, like I said, and we'll go, we'll dive deeper into some of the things, okay, or some of the different options. But for now, let's just get started scrapbooking. So I'm going to show you um, some basic things that you need to get started, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you a couple examples of what a scrapbook is, and and then I thought that we would do a little something like create with me. So. You can gather some papers and a couple of photos and I will tell you exactly what you need at the end of this video. And we will set a time up and I will walk you through and you'll be able to ask questions um, during that video. And we'll just scrapbook together and we'll, we'll get something done. So let's talk about what you need to get started. Paper, you need paper. And where can you get paper? You can get paper almost anywhere. You can get it at Michael's Hobby Lobby, uh, online, there's scrapbooking stores. I think even Walmart has some scrapbooking paper. You can get paper anywhere. This is close to my heart paper. I am a close to my heart maker and I prefer this paper. I love close to my heart's paper is um, double-sided and it features the branded strip, the zip strip, and I use I use that for my um, card making and my scrapbooking pages, so I absolutely love it. But you can get paper anywhere. So you can get cardstock, you can get um, ore paper, you can get holographic paper, you can get textured paper. Paper comes in all sizes. You can get it in six by six packs and, and it's uh, eight by eight packs. You can get an eight and a half by 11 or 12 by 12. So just paper, you need paper. Um, I, I prefer using this paper because there's coordinating cardstock and coordinating ink and I like my stuff to match. Um, stickers, stickers is something that I recommend you find stickers that match whatever paper that you are using because 
This is the perfect way, especially for beginners, even seasoned, but beginners is to be able to embellish their, even add titles, okay? These make perfect titles, okay? So stickers is great for a beginner a beginning scrapbooker you can use them to embellish with you can eat you can you can pop them up you can add things in them you can even add ink like around them uh, to distress them so stickers stickers is paper and stickers that is like a, a basic thing for beginning scrapbookers okay so paper so let me show you something so the way i use my stickers is I will pull them off of the carrier sheet and I will take an anti-static pouch, okay? And I will go ahead and I will remove the sticky off of these stickers. And I know you're like, they're stickers. Why are you taking the sticky off of them? Because this is how I play. This is how I move things around and see where I want them. And I can always add glue to this and or double-sided tape or even foam tape to make this pop off my page a little to give some dimension. So I take the sticky off of my stickers and I play around with this and move it around on my paper how I want it, um, you know, to embellish. So this is just another little fun tip for how to use stickers and not, you know, like once you put them down on your paper, it's like stuck. So you can play with them that way. So I recommend getting a, an any static pouch and, and you don't have to get one, but I use it because I play with my stickers. Okay, so what tools do you need? You can scrapbook with basic tools. Scissors, you need a good pair of scissors, okay? So get you a pair of scissors so you can cut your paper or cut your photos or your uh, trim down your embellishments. You can cut your stickers in half, whatever you need. Get yourself a pair of scissors. Um, you could also use an X-Acto knife, okay? So you could use X-Acto knife, but just don't cut on your your table or whatever you're using. Use some kind of um, self-healing mat or cardboard or something, okay? So if you didn't have a good pair of scissors, you could use an X-Acto knife um, or a paper trimmer. I love my paper trimmer. I use my paper trimmer um, every single time I scrapbook. I cut my photos with my paper trimmer. I cut my paper. I cut my stickers. So a paper trimmer. Um, this is a good paper trimmer. It's by Fiskars. Um, so I recommend, a, I recommend a paper trimmer, but if you don't have a paper trimmer, scissors, okay? You can get away with scissors. So you need paper. You need scissors, something to cut with. A ruler, you need a ruler. So this helps you line everything up evenly. Um, not everybody's good at eyeballing, but this also, you can cut your paper and your photos with your dimensions. This happens to be a, a T-square ruler. I love my T-square ruler. I line my stuff up with this um, and so, but this also comes apart and can be just a regular ruler. I have lots of rulers and I've hunted for the perfect ruler. So a ruler, any kind of ruler, get yourself a ruler. Okay, let's talk adhesive. You need adhesive. So there's different kinds of adhesive. There's tape runners, okay, double-sided tape. There's liquid glues. There's glue dots. There's foam tape or foam dots, okay? So the terms that you're looking for is acid-free, photo-safe, lignin-free. These kinds of adhesives will not deteriorate, okay, your photos or turn them yellow over years. So hot glue guns, although hot glue guns are strong, and its adhesiveness will last for years, the heat and acidity can harm your photos. So buy good adhesive for scrapbooking. Cheap adhesive might not hold long-term and could age or damage your photos. I'm speaking from experience, okay? I have been scrapbooking for 26 years, okay? And I always try to save money if I can, and I always like try to tell other people to save money if they can. But Adhesive is important. Um, yes, you you may think that you can hold this with a glue stick and you may hold that with a glue stick for a long time, but uh, 26 years, 
it does damage your photos, okay? And your stuff starts to fall apart. It doesn't hold forever. And I don't like that. I, I spend my time in the, and I spend my money and I want this stuff to last. Um, so here's some good liquid adhesive. Okay. Um, I tend to grab for this one, um, more often than any of the rest. Um, this, I love, I do have this liquid glass and I love this liquid glass. You actually can add this onto the embellishments and it, it makes them, um, shiny and like puts like a little, you can put like a little foam thing on them. Um, I do love this. This is a very, very, very strong, um, for embellishments. This is a, probably one of the strongest glues for embellishment. If you stick something down, this is not going up. So, um, but this is what I use for everyday, um, purposes. And this is like a really fine, fine point. If you have like a, something that you're trying to do like small thin letters or something. So I have various glues and I use them for different things. Um, I use, um, adhesive tape. I use, a, I like, I generally grab for these, um, to put my photos down on like a photo mat, or I use this liquid glue. You don't need all of these. You can just get one good glue. I like, I like a variety of glue. Um, I would recommend like one kind of glue and then some kind of foam tape or foam dots, um, because these add dimension and you can get these in, and an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, one inch, you can get them in two inches. So I, um, I, you probably can get them bigger than that because they have foam sheets. So I recommend some kind of foam, um, do, uh, foam adhesive to pop your stuff up. And then you can get just like some glue dots And these, um, these are really small. So if I'm sticking down something really tiny, um, I can do that or ribbon. These are great for ribbon. So I, so adhesive, look for those things when you're looking for adhesive, photo safe, you know? So that is my recommend, recommendation there. Okay. Journaling. You always want to journal on your, you have your, your paper, your photos, your journaling and a title. That's scrapbooking. There you go. There's the basics. Your photos, on your paper, your journaling, because you want to tell your story in a little title. That's all you need. All the other the, the other stuff is decoration. It's just fun. So scrapbooking can be very basic or it can be very detailed, very advanced. So journaling pen. Hey, can I just use my ballpoint uh, pen? I, I do not recommend it. Get yourself a journaling pen. There are different ways to journal, okay? But journaling pens are important too. So I buy good pens that are specifically made for, these are the Le Pens. Um, so I have them in, in a variety of colors because I like colors. <laughs> so um, I journaling pens, you can just get yourself a black one. You don't have to have all those colors. Just get a good pen that's made for scrapbooking, okay? So there you have it. Paper, a ruler, glue, scissors. That's what you need to scrapbook, okay? You want to throw in a little bit more? Stickers. Make it easy. Stickers. Okay? Those are the basics that you need to scrapbook. Now let me show you a couple different kinds of scrapbooking. So watch. I got my piece of paper. I got another little piece of paper to decorate in the back. I'm gonna do a frame. I'm gonna add my photo. And then I'm gonna bring in one of those stickers. How cute, put it over here. How cute would that be? And then I can do my journaling. Just like that, I have a scrapbook page. And then I can play with this and I can move this around, okay? because I took the sticky off of that. I mean, that would be cute right there, wouldn't that? That would be super cute right there. Or we could move it even a little further down. I love it, okay? But make sure you add your journaling, okay? I want, I want my daughter to know, or her daughter to know, she was five here, five years old. This was September. So I want... I want to make sure I journal, okay? Tell the story. So there you have it. Just like that, in a matter of 
I don't know, less than a minute, we pull together a scrapbook page. So it is that easy, okay? Now, don't get overwhelmed because I made that look simple and it is simple, but let me show you some more, okay? So this is in the album. This is a little six by eight album, okay? And this is my daughter again. So this is my daughter in 2019. So she's much older here, obviously. This was, this is the same girl. <laughs> so she's a little older now. Um, she's a beautiful woman. And so this is just a fun little six by eight scrapbook that I have that I just took some various sheets of paper, okay? And this one, I just cut my photos to match that exact strip. And I put them down on a, on a piece of white paper that was mounted on another piece of paper. I just added my strips and added my photo, photo and did a little bit of journaling. I love to hang out with my friends at the lake. So there you have it. So a six by eight. Look, a little pocket page. So this, this is my daughter too. This is Emily. This is my same daughter. So these are different different photos of Emily. And here's my journaling. And I haven't journaled this yet because I want to interview my daughter, okay? So I'm gonna add this in her album just like this, okay? And I am gonna talk to her about herself and her likes and, and dislikes and you know where she's at at this point in her life. So I'm gonna interview her and I'm gonna have her words here. And this was just, this right here is just a pocket card. I didn't make this, it's a pocket card. Okay, so you can just get like pocket cards and use those. And they have these in, you know, 12 by 12, where you have different pockets and different, they're different uh, orientation. And so these are a lot of fun. So this is another way to scrapbook. So here is a double page layout. This is gonna go right in my album like this. And I just have some pattern paper and some more pattern paper. And these are stickers. I added some of these with foam tape and some of them I put right down there. So these are stickers. This is a sticker off a sticker sheet, sticker sheet to this collection. And this is my, this is four generations. And I want to tell that story. My grandmother, my mother, myself, and my daughter. And I journaled that right here, these four generation photos of my gram. Okay. So I told a story right here and why these photos were important to me. And then I just added just a little bit of stamping in the background and just a little bit of gold splatter. So you don't have to do that, but I just dressed it up a little bit. So that's another scrapbooking page, okay? Here's another idea. This is all cardstock. I didn't have any pattern paper or I have pattern paper, but I didn't use pattern paper for this. I wanted to challenge myself and use just cardstock, okay? So this is all cardstock. Um, this is actually white cardstock and I um, I used stamps and I embossed them. Now you don't, we don't have to get into that. That's another, another um, lesson, but um, I just embossed that and used some ink to color those papers and put them there. So this is all done with some Cricut cuts, some stamping, and cardstock, okay? So I wanted to tell this story of my other daughter, Faith, and when her uncle came for a special visit. Okay, so here's a little more advanced scrapbooking, okay? This is that paper collection that I showed you at the beginning, and this is my son Caleb when he was a baby. And these are stickers, but these pieces all came out, all of these pieces, all of these came out of a kit. So you can buy a kit and scrapbook that way. So let me show you. So I bought this kit and this kit comes with the instructions on how to create these um these four pages but these three double page layouts it has all the dimensions and tells you exactly how to cut um, your papers and then you can save these and use these later on to create with other papers so you have these patterns and i love that so 
Um, I, you can always buy a kit, which comes with all these little punch out pieces, which are all of these stars and these shapes. And that's how I made those. And it, you just punch them out. It has the sticker sheet and has some embellishments. So you can literally get, it even has the page protectors, the memory protectors. So you can get kits to scrapbooking, which will walk you through exactly step-by-step step what to do. And it makes scrapbooking fun, right? There's even card kits if you're a card maker. So there's even card kits that come the same way. So that's fantastic as well. But on this one, I went ahead and used my journaling pen. I would pull in a couple of um, thin cuts, some tags. You could always make tags with paper and scissors just, and then like a hole punch, you know? So you could make your tags or you can, um, you know, buy, you know, metal dies. Um, but all of these pieces were in those little punch out things or on the sticker sheets. And then I just added in a couple little embellishments that came with that kit and glued them on. These are some acrylic shapes and these are some paperboard shapes. And there you have it. I put a little ink around my um, pieces of paper, just a little um, ink distressing. And I pull this layout together that way. And so there's different ways to journal. How did I journal on this layout? Uh, so sweet baby, I have my title. Okay, hello cutie pie, a little subtitle right here. I didn't need to tell a whole lot of the story. 9-2002. So my son was four months old here. So this is, it tells me when it was. It was in September and he was four months old here. So it's self-explanatory his baby photo, okay? So here's a little something different. I designed this myself, okay? And I added some pattern papers and brought in those, um, those tags again. And I used some stamps this time. So I used stamping and I created my own title with stamps and did this little stamping technique that I came up with and this is what these are. These are just fun stamps. And then when this is in my page protector, I took it out so you could see, this will slide in and out, okay? I will have my mat cut. My, my page protector will be cut and it will be interactive, okay? And my journaling is gonna go on the back of here and I have not done that. And I didn't wanna put it on the front because I don't want you to see the writing there. But you will be able to tell that this slides in and out and you'll be able to read. And I'll be able to tell the story of why these photos were super important to me, okay? So this is, an, this is another way of scrapbooking, coming up with your own things. So here's a little bit more advanced scrapbooking. I have this in my page protector, and this whole thing is interactive, okay? So these all pull out, and these are interactive, and I am telling the story about our dog, Max. Um, Max passed away. And he was very, very special to us. And I am telling my story here about Max from the time that my daughter got him all the way to the very end. And, you know, what Max meant to us. And here is where I put my journaling. And But all of these also tell a story about Max and over the years, how he grew and what he meant to us. So this is just another way, and this is interactive on both sides. This is just another way to tell the story, but this is this is much more advanced, okay? So I wanted to show you just some different ways. Um, you know, six by six, uh, I actually gave my six by six albums away as gifts. So I can't show you any of those, but there's just different ways like that to scrapbook. Um, you can always get a mat, okay? I usually work on a mat. Um, you can get mats in uh, many different brands, many different places. I just prefer this one because I can turn this one over and it has, um, it has the perfect stamping platform and I do a lot of stamping so I can stamp directly on this and I like that it has all the measurements here in um in, in like a quarter of an inch so I love that um I got my glue on here because I, I usually add a little bit of glue on my mat in the corners to hold my page down so as I'm moving things around I can work on that but this is not necessary it's just another tool to help you with when you scrapbook okay
I want to show you one more thing. Okay? So, you can get a pattern book. Okay? There, these pattern books that they sell all over the, the market um, ha tell you exactly how to cut your papers and give you... Um, you know, if you're going to use cardstock, if you, if it's pattern paper, and it gives you several examples. Um, you can go to Pinterest. There's all kinds of sketches on Pinterest that you can, um, use. I mean, for free, you don't even have to buy a sketchbook, but Pinterest, or you know what? There is no wrong way to scrapbook. So you can totally create your own. Okay, whatever you come up with will be perfect, will be beautiful, will be your story. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. So let's create together. Let's gather our supplies and meet back here this Thursday at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock my time, so 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We will meet here on this page, and if you can't be here at that time, you can catch the replay, no problem. And you can always send me any questions you have um, in the comments. Um, or you can, you know, send me a message on Messenger. I'm fine with that. Um, gather your supplies. So gather some paper, just a couple sheets of coordinating paper. You can use whatever you have. Uh, just cardstock if you don't have pattern paper, or you don't want to use pattern paper, whatever goes with your photos, get your photos. Um, I'm going to use this one, which is a five by seven. So this is a, a five by seven. You could do a four by six. You could do two like uh, landscape four by sixes um, or just a portrait style four by six. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use these two smaller ones, which I want to say these are probably maybe two by two and a quarter or two by three or whatever. So I'm going to use these photos, um, but you can use what, what you have. So gather your photos up. Um, you can do just one photo. Uh, absolutely. You can do a scrapbook page with just one photo. I have many times they come out beautiful. So get your paper, get your photos, glue, scissors, ruler okay and find you a sticker sheet whatever matches your papers a sticker sheet i am going to use this for my title okay so you find a sticker sheet with a title on it or you can make your title you can get a blank piece of paper and you can just if you have stamps you can just stamp whatever you want it to say you know like summer okay so you can do that with, you know, black ink or whatever you have that matches your paper or your photos, okay? So I'm gonna use my couple sheets of paper, I'm gonna pull in my stickers and in my photos, okay? And we're gonna create a page together. And then I will also show you how I um, take that page to the next level. So we will create a basic scrapbooking page. It'll be beautiful. It'll be simple. It'll be easy. And then I'm going to show you how I take that up a notch um, for if you're not a beginner and you would still like to learn. So let's meet back here Thursday, two o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and we will create together. Till next time.